In this video, we are going to learn what is pollination and their types. First of all, we have to learn what is pollination. Pollination means transfer of pollen grains from anther to a sigma is called pollination. Pollination can be classified into two types. One is cell pollination, another one is cross pollination. In cross pollination, we need agent to perform the process of cross pollination. In the agent of pollination, there are two types of agents. One is abiotic and another one is biotic agents. In abiotic agents, for example, wind, waters are abiotic agents. So they are vector considered as a vector for uh, complete the process of pollination. In biotic uh, agents, such as animals, mostly considered as biotic agents for pollination. Majority of the most of the plants, biotic agents only used for pollination. Only few of the plants using abiotic agents. The first type of abiotic pollinating agent that is anemopili. Anemo means wind. So we hear wind is acting as a pollinating agent. In such a type of type of pollination, the plant will produce enormous amount of pollen grains when compared to normal plants. Because of they have to com compensate the wastage of pollen grains. So in this type of pollination, the flowers are well exposed with stamens. The nature of the stigma also feathery in nature because of they have to trap uh, airborne pollen grains. Most of uh, wind pollinated flowers contains only single ovary. So in each ovary, mostly one ovary, one uh, single ovary. But they have the numerous flowers packed into inflorescence. The pollen grains are light and non-sticky in nature. So next type of abiotic pollinating agent is hydropily that is water. Water is acting as a pollinating agent. In this type of pollination is very rare but about nearly 30 genera undergo for uh, hydropily. Mostly most of the plants uh, perform hydropily is monocot plants. Examples like Wallisneria, hydropily, uh, sorry hydrodilla, zoostera. These are common type of hydropilic plants. But all aquatic plants are not hydropilic plants. Pollen grains released in the surface of the water and carried to the sigma by air current that is takes place in Wallisneria plant. In seagrass the flowers are remained submerged. In pollen grains are long, are ripple like and carried passively into the inside of the water. So in this type of hydropily the pollen grains are protected from wetting by they have a special type of uh, covering that is miscellaneous covering. Uh, next pollination by biotic agents. So major flowering plants use animals as a pollinating agents. Among the animals insects are specially uh, acting as a pollinating biotic agents. The insect pollinating flowers are very larger in size. They have colorful then also release fragrant uh, rich in nectar so that it, it can easily pollinate. Small flowers are present in cluster to make them conspicuous. In flower pollinated by flies and beetles, the secretary flower fall odors. Uh, nectar and pollen grains are the usual uh, flower rewards for the insects. In some plants, the flower uh, rewards as a safe place to lay eggs Example, Amarpa palace. A species of moth and yucca plant they cannot complete their life cycle without each other. They depend on each other. Moth uh, deposit its eggs on the locule of ovary and flower in turn get pollinated by moth. Uh, many insects may consume pollen and nectar without bring, bring about pollination. Such a visitors, such a insects are called Pollen or nectar robbers. Next, outbreeding devices. Majority of the flowering plants produce hermaphrodite uh, flowers, which means uh, they have both characters, male and female characters, so that automatically uh, self pollination will occur. So, the plant should avoid uh, self pollination, then only they can go for cross pollination. The continuous autogamy result in inbreeding depression, so that some plants produce, uh, they have some developed some many devices to avoid cell pollination to encourage the cross pollination. Such uh, devices are called outbreeding devices. Outbreeding devices are 
fall and released in different time then stigma receptivity is not synchronized then spatial uh, separation of anther and stigma then anther stigma plays in different position then self incompatibility then last one production of unisexual flowers so that we can they can prevent self pollination if you like my channel please subscribe me